All right, fourth grade. So today we're gonna to be adding patterns or zentangles into our landscape. So at the bottom of the document, I have some different ideas of patterns that you can use. As you can see, some of them are gonna be a little bit more complicated than others. And so you're gonna pick patterns that are at your level. So please do not pick the easiest patterns if you know that you can do a lot more than that. Um, also, some of the easiest patterns you can add and make them more complicated, and that's what I um, did in mine, and you'll see that in a little bit, that I added more and more details as I went on if I used a simple pattern. So we're going to talk about line quality really quick. So we are focusing on just lines this week. And so as a fourth grader, it's really important that you're going to take your time, you're going to slow down, and you're going to really focus on those simple lines and creating them so that it makes a very nice and neat piece of artwork. If it's sloppy and not well done, um, it's really going to show in this project because all we're focusing on is line and that's really what I'm grading you on. Remember, I will be grading you on all of the artwork you do this year. So please make sure that you're taking it seriously and you're taking your time. So the line quality comes down to the materials. So I had three different kinds of writing utensils. I had a ballpoint pen and I had two different sized markers. Um, you don't have to use a Sharpie, that's just what I had available. So hopefully you have at least two different kinds of writing utensils and that will help you create those different variety of lines as you're going through. So you're gonna watch me draw and um, fill up my paper. This project should take you two days. So you're gonna set a timer for today for about 15 minutes and tomorrow you can set one for about 20 or 25 minutes to hopefully finish up your project. As I'm adding patterns inside of my landscape, what I'm gonna be doing is trying to add a variety. So you can see I just added circles and right next to it I added some straighter patterns. That way there's a variety of patterns to look at and it makes your project um, much more interesting to look at and it balances out the composition as you're going through. Alright guys, so I am all done with my project. You can see I added a lot of variety. I colored in some parts. I left some parts a little bit more um, open. So it's just all your preference on how you want yours to look. Um, I even went back and added um, some of my original lines a little bit darker because they kind of all blended in. So just make sure you're taking your time. Make sure that you're really thinking about the patterns that are going next to each other and what would look the best. Remember, you're going to turn this in on Flipgrid, and that's in that document that you looked at um, yesterday. So hopefully that should be pretty easy to turn in, and I cannot wait to see these finished up. I bet they're going to be amazing. So make sure you take your time, do a good job, and I can't wait to see these.